Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to a new mod pack. Yes, today I bring you all the mods Gravitas. Now, this mod pack is going to bring a whole new experience to the early game of Minecraft because I cannot simply just punch wood in this pack uh, because it doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, this has Terra Firma Craft, which means you need to start picking up items from the ground. Like, you just go around, you click some rocks, you kind of start, like, start getting some rocks into your inventory, and then you need some like a couple of sticks as well. And what do you do with these things? Well, these rocks, like, they can be very different types of rocks, but all of them can be mapped or it's basically a handcraft thingy uh or just go around you do things on it and you maybe get an item of course and i'm gonna start with the stone axe uh, i guess the easiest way is for you to type stone into here and then just go into the second page yeah you have all of these tools that you can make with with the basic stone thing and you're gonna need a couple of them uh, I'm I know I'm, not gonna, I'm going to need an axe. I know I'm going to need a shovel, for example. And the shovel is like that. Like so. Then I get the shovel head. And I also know that I'm going to need a knife. And the knife is pretty easy. Just down the middle to here. And for some reason, this one doesn't make a knife. I so you can try it like this as well. Yeah, if one doesn't work, then the other will. And what you do with this is that you put it together with these sticks and of course stone axe and a stone shovel perfect so this is like the basic of the basic things and then you of course want to start picking up even more and this is like the number one step then you kind of need to get some food as well which honestly i was playing just a little bit before it started recording and i was in the test world just testing out some things and it was actually kind of tricky to find some some actual food uh, i was barely able to find it but yeah now i know what it looks like for example this is the wheat yeah you can get the wheat here pretty easily uh, and they usually have like some small patches so if you see one look around a little bit and you're probably gonna find some more and of course we have a massive tree so let's cut it down and luckily for for us we only need to cut one log even though it takes a little bit of time and the whole tree just falls down there we go we're starting to get some wood this is basically the beginning just go around look at the floor pick up some things uh find some trees after you get an axe start cutting it down and then you actually need to start exploring the area around you because one of the next steps after you get all of this is actually get clay and oh a snowberry bush that's nice this is the first time I see these guys. Uh, but what I was saying, the next step is actually getting clay. And clay can be a little bit tricky to find. Uh, ideally, you would find something like this. Uh, some ferns. And if you get lucky, underneath it, there's maybe the chance that you're going to find some clay. Now, you do have to like go around and try to find it. Uh... You can also find it if you go like into some of these cliffs because they're they can be easier to spot here. And of course, if you go around your world, there's a chance you're actually gonna start finding some of these villagers. And there's actually uh, several different ones you can find. Uh, this is the third type I found. There's one that has like a campfire and then like some area for him. So one that actually has an underground area. It's kind of weird to spot. Uh, oh, some rotten flesh course we're gonna pick it up because that actually counts as food and also i made myself this knife which i'll be using to picking up some food like pumpkins and stuff like that uh, i also have some wheat and barley that i've used the knife to pick up uh, i also got these bushes which i'm gonna take with me uh, probably place it around here as i want to make this thing a house for me and then if you use the knife on the grass, you're going to start getting one of the next things you need, which is straw. And you're going to need quite a little bit of straw, so you can just go ham uh, on these areas that you, that you find. Because basically this is everywhere, so might as well just use it, right? 
and since the, this actually gives me two knives uh, i can just use this knife as well uh if probably gonna get some flowers if you don't need the flowers i can just well toss them away because you're not gonna need it right now but yeah this thing the the flowers you can toss away but the, what you want is a straw now unfortunately for me this guy is a miner uh which means his trades are kind of out of my reach by a long shot uh but i think if i find another villager i can get him to get me some opal and then i can trade him this guy for gypsum and stuff like that yeah uh if you find halides i can trade for emeralds and there's even the chance that you find some guys that trade you actual diamonds Oh yeah, and if you're having trouble with anything on the back, if you open inventory on the right side, you actually have the book that tells you like how to get started, basically. So what you need to like start doing and focusing, and then do like how you progress through through the back. And you have like something like the biomes, the rivers, and the geology and animals. Like it explains you a lot about how the pack actually works. And the other thing is that if you kind of get low on water, because you do have your health, you have a saturation food bar, and then you have water. So water, if you find these plant, plant-like things, well, well, not this thing, uh, it can just right-click and you can safely drink on the water, which is pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool. And this is actually something that you have to do. You have to go around and if you see a biome that has like these rock formations uh if you go to it uh, usually like i find it uh, to be close to the rocks you actually start finding these small ones these, these small malachites for example so one type of ore and you can find it around in the floor as well of course you can find several different things not just malachite you can find several different uh, orange like gold and, and iron and stuff like that i think iron is actually not called iron but gold is uh so you kind of need to search these areas for these sort of vein drops i guess you could say it and you start getting some ores because they, they will come in handy later and of course if you look around enough you'll find some of this clay now it can be pretty hard to find first but once you find it, they usually have like a small patch of it. And of course, you just need yourself a shovel and well, start picking it up because you're going to need quite a little bit. of. It. Oh, yeah, of course, this is terra firma craft, which means most of the blocks, well, you can't build normally with them because they have like physics to them. So if I break this one, this one falls and it's it's not because it's like gravel. It's because of physics, like it cannot actually sustain the block above it. So if you break it, it goes down. Same for dirt. If I break that one, this one just falls apart. So everything just slowly falls apart as soon as you start breaking. And the same goes for building stuff. If you try to build something like with dirt, it, it's not going to end up well because you're not going to be able to put a pile of dirt. Uh, unless it's naturally generated in this case when you mess with it it does this like what it just did right now uh or you have to progress a little bit before actually starting to build stuff so i was actually able to get my hands on 11 of uh, small mama kite which means i have 110 milli buckets of copper now we need to actually process this and how do we process this we need to heat it up in a pit but not just a regular pit and if it until this point you haven't read the book to actually learn how to make this the pits of fire if you put two sticks together you get a fire starter and then what you need to do that throw on the, you need to throw onto the floor uh some logs three one log three sticks and this is optional three pieces of something of kindling kindling something that can burn like straw for example uh and this will increase the chance that you have to actually make a fire so for example we can even toss in some straw as well so let's put it over here if we toss one log one two three sticks and one two three straws we just shift and then we use the fire started on this place 
boom we made ourselves a fire pit now the fire pit is pretty good because it's gonna like heat up some of your foods and stuff like that this will actually can be upgraded later to other items this is not what we need right now what we need right now is to use this clay ball and what do we use the clay ball with it's similar to the to the stones where what you need to do is you actually need to do some molds with this there we go you can do like several different molds but the one i'm after right now is the pickaxe one uh because that's one of the things that we're gonna go for we can also do this if you want the ingot version but i want to just straight up go for this one yeah this one so if you right click it's just like this boom we have an unfired pickaxe head mold now we can keep going for example, if we do like this, we're gonna have an oven, an oven chimney. That's that's gonna be okay. Uh, what else can we do? We can do this one if you want to have the fire chisel. But I'm actually gonna go for another one that we need, and that one is the vessel. If you just take out the the all the corners, you get this, the unfired vessel. And I actually took out this head bolt. I wasn't supposed to take that off, but okay. Now this thing shut itself off. The way you can like put this back going is you can toss in not this you can toss in some locks for example let's toss that and then you just right click again with the fire starter and boom it's gonna start burning out the wood you can put several different items in here like foliage and stuff like that even straw i think and then it'll burn up for longer but let's get cooking now, what you're going to be doing with all of these, you need like four of these guys if you want to maximize what you're doing right now. You want to break one block into the floor, and then you want to click the letter V while looking at the floor, and it will place the items into these four corners, like so. Then, you want to cover it using some straw and some logs. It's eight straw, basically all the way until it's completely filled, and then eight logs and boom after you have all of that all you have to do is just use the fire started on this boom don't worry about this fire it's meant to be like this uh and as you can see that some time it takes eight minutes you even got the achievement of potter uh light a pit kiln on fire this is what's called a pit kiln this is gonna burn for eight minutes after the eight minutes you can come back and you're gonna pick up the fired version of the things that we just made the molds out of and then we're going to use the vessel that we just crafted to put this malachite on because it needs to be heated and if you take a look into the ore processing area like in the getting started going to the ores you can see you can pick up basically all the ores in, in small pieces and you can see like there's some na they're native to some biomes so you probably need to go to the di different biomes to find different things and then you can see yeah if you have a small vessel enough materials for a pit kiln one or more molds to cast the bolt of metal and finally at least a hundred milli buckets of the metal which is suitable for casting for example copper so what we're going to be doing is putting all of this into a pit kiln and there you go after a while you get your items and of course <laughs> i completely forgot that the oven chimney needs a stronger uh, <laughs> fire so yeah uh, that one didn't actually cook but it's okay it's okay I'm just gonna make another thing over here now this is as far as i got in my test world now we're gonna learn together now because i don't know what i'm doing and hopefully this will work uh, I think this is all I have to do. Okay, this is not actually working like that. I think I need to put it, uh, yeah, like so, into here. And maybe this is what I need to do. We can test it, right? So it's eight straw, eight logs. And we head back a little bit. Boom, and we wait, we wait eight minutes. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to be quick right now. So pick this guy up, right click it on there, and boom. Yeah. And then you can actually put this to, well, cast. I guess you could call it that. And then this should cast. 
Uh, I don't know if it's gonna take some time. I so actually I have to do this like two times because the first time I took too long and the contents solidified inside the vessel. Uh, which is bad, which yeah, it means that I have to actually do this again. But yeah, I should get copper head. Contents have solidified. Oh, shift right click. There we go. Boom. We have access to our first pickaxe. I also, oh, we achieved the copper age. It's kind of good. Also, if you press L, you can see how you have like this area right here. I don't know if there's like a, a quest. Thing. I don't I don't I don't I don't think there is. I'm I'm basically been guiding myself through the achievements area. Uh as you can see we still need to get charcoal and make a forge with that. Uh but now that we actually have access to the copper age, well we can start getting more and more resources just, just by going mining. I I think I just found my first mob. Uh, you see, mobs have not been spawning normally. Uh, and I, I need to be really careful with how I do this. Uh, oh yeah. That is my very first mob. Now, can I kill him through here? Maybe he has so many buffs on. And I may not be able to kill him through here. Uh, I probably need to make like a, a javelin or something. And. Boom. He's dead. Oh. 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 We got a sword. We got a chest. I think we're going to live here. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay. And lifesteal. We actually got a, a, a decent sword. Uh, a piece of bread that's actually pretty good but yeah i think we're gonna be living here i'm actually gonna put this chest next to that other one uh the problem is that i'll have to break it before i actually like do anything with it but yeah if we just like dump all the resources here oh yes this is, this is pretty good no the chest is kind of small though so I, so yeah, I'm not gonna break this one because the chest is, is smaller than normal. But damn, there we go. We have chests. We have a house. Now, as you guys can probably see from this cave, uh, ores is actually meant to be a rare thing to find. But when you find them, it can look a little bit like this. Now, I do need to be super, super careful. Because I was just like coming. Yeah, you heard that? That means that if I break a few extra blocks, this thing can collapse. Now, that's not good. <laughs> we do not want this to collapse because it can suffocate us and it can kill us. So, we really need to be careful while mining and try to really get into the area. And yeah, as you can see. That happens, and I'm dead. I'm dead. There we go. That was fast. Uh, well, uh, that happens, and you die. That, yeah, and I'm a ghost. Uh, yup, and I'm a ghost, and I need to go there. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I got my stuff back. Kind of lucky we got this sword because I was looking for other ores, which I mean, we did find some malachite over here. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we also have a spawner here and grave dust. Okay. Uh, should I break the spawner? I can't open the chest if I don't break the spawner. So I guess I should break it. And oh my God enchanting tables a helmet a lead okay oh and for some reason some some crying obsidian uh so i'm gonna get this malachite which is basically copper then see if i can find something like iron or gold i don't know this cave is like super super dark in here so i have to try and see if i can find anything else Okay, I, I I don't know what happened there. I broke a spawner and like there's another one here. 
I don't like that I'm constantly hearing tons and tons of spiders. Uh, but it's and, and they're cave spiders. Oh no! Pick the items. Go, go, run. Oh no! If she hits me, I'm super low on HP. Oh, okay, I got her. I really need to get out of here now because I got tons and tons of loot now. Look at all of these. I got tombstone, soulbound, power, and blessing. Chance to receive a short buff when hit. Okay, plus I got some malachite, I got some gold, emeralds. Bro, I need to go up and out of here. Aha! I just now got my hands on some raw basalt. Now, you can get this from a lot of different stones. But basically, what you want to do is, you, as soon as you find this, and it needs to be some specific uh, raw ores, uh, or stones i should say if you go over here to primitive anvils yeah it needs to be an either rhyolite basalt andesite or dacite or granite diorite or gabbrol and you need to find these because you need a, like your first anvil to do something with your ores and the way you actually get this like the raw block itself is you have to have it open on all six sides so as you can see, all of those five are now open. And if I break this block right over here, boom, that one drops just as is as raw basalt. Ta da! Yeah, all you need to do is grab your basalt, place it wherever you kind of want it to be, and then just right click it with a hammer, and there you go. You have your first anvil. Now, this is gonna be pretty handy. Uh, because we need to start processing some things and I really don't know exactly how this works. I'll have to see because we have four copper ingots and we also have some more like over here, like the like other, other four. Yeah, we got a total of eight copper ingots, but the problem is I kind of want to make this anvil and this anvil takes seven of copper double ingots, which means I need a total of 14 ingots now i did find malachite down below in the in the mines uh or in the cave i should say but yeah it's it's pretty dangerous to to, to mine it so i need to check on how i can mine it a little bit safer but yeah you know what guys i think this is the perfect time to end up the episode because we did quite a lot of things we got a, a pretty good sword we got a pickaxe we now also have a new shovel i'm probably going to do one axe as well so we can get tons and tons of wood and the one of the other things that we need is a saw as soon as we make this saw we're able to get more chests and we need to make one of these so this is probably going to be one of my next priorities so yeah we got a lot to do and of course guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and see ya in the next one bye